Hello everyone, welcome to DA College video. My name is Yada. Um, today I want to teach you some new useful uh, vocabulary and expressions related to cell phone. So you know whenever something comes to our lives, like for example cell phone, or just like anything, any new technology that comes to our life, it brings some new vocabulary with itself as well. Okay, for example, Facebook. So, you know, whenever it comes, it's just a noun. But, so you see nowadays people use it as a verb as well. For example, I'm Facebooking or like Google, right? So you can say, I'm Googling. Okay, but this is noun, but people use it as a verb also. Now, here I want to teach you some actually expressions and vocabularies that you can use because they're related to cell phone. Whenever you want to just like, um, uh, talk about cell phone or just like some expression that is related to that so you can use it uh, Look at the first sentence here. So you know, it's very easy. Basically. I'm pretty sure that you know that uh, When you want to ask someone's phone number, right? So you have to just like ask What's your cell phone number or phone number both work actually, right? because uh, these days, actually, as you know, people don't have landlines as much as before. Um, so they use their cell phone everywhere they go and even at home. Um, what's your cell phone number? The other thing that I want to teach you today, so it's just whenever you send someone a message or a text message, um, you can say SMS, right? And even you can use it as a verb, as I told you before. I want to send you an SMS, right? This is abbreviation. Here is a noun, but in the next sentence, as you see, it, actually they use it as a verb. Uh, he spends most of his time SMSing, like teenagers, right? All the time they are SMSing their friends, right? So you see all the time they're just texting, right? So you say SMSing. And here in the next sentence, again, so you can use it as a verb. I SMSed, right? SMS to you, so you see it's a verb and you use it as a past tense, right? SMS. SMS you yesterday, but you didn't reply to it, right? You didn't reply my text message. And next one, your cell phone is always an answering machine. You never answer your phone, your cell phone. All the time when I call you, it's always on answering machine, right? And I have to just like leave a message for you. Now here, look at the next sentence here. Your cell phone has a very irritating ring. Sometimes whenever your phone rings, some of the phones, they're just like the ringtone is good and not so loud or just um, it's not irritating, but some of them, it means you don't like it. It's so irritating, right? It bothers you a lot. So you can say your phone's ringtone or you can say your cell phone has a very irritating ringtone. It means it bothers me a lot. I don't like the sound, right? It's so irritating. The other one, so whenever you're at the class, right? So whenever you're studying or you're at the library or you're in a very important meeting, you have to switch off your phone or you should turn it off, right? So you say, would you please? So look at the pronunciation here. You don't say, would you? Say, would you, right? So we have D and Y here. So you should pronounce it as J, would you? Yeah, would you please turn off your cell, right? turn off your cell. Would you? Would you please turn off your cell? Next one. Are all the mobile phones switched off? It means they're all turned off or switched off. Can I use your cell phone to make a call? Um, so for example, you're out and uh, so you don't have access to telephone and for example, your cell phone is out of battery, but you need to make a phone call maybe you can ask someone maybe your friend right to just like give uh, for example their phone to you 
to then you can just you be able to make a phone call right so you can say can i right for question you don't say can say can can i use your cell phone okay can i borrow can i borrow your cell phone can i use your cell phone to make a call okay to just call someone to make a call so they come together make a call okay next one i'm sure i saw him pocketing your cell phone so look at that pocket is a noun but here as you see we used it as a verb you can do that so pocketing it means just like put something in your pocket like for example a thief right so they're just like go in and see just like for example pickpocket right so they just like see something they like it and just grab it and put it in their pocket or in their bag or whatever and then steal it so you can say i'm sure i saw him pocketing your cell phone it means just took your cell phone and put it in his pocket and next Cell phone users were complaining of poor reception. So look at the preposition that we use here after complaining, complaining of, right? Complaining of poor reception. It means, so you don't have a very good connection, right? You call it poor reception. You cannot have a just like for example good phone call right because the voice is broken probably right so you can say poor reception thank you for watching this i hope you learned all these vocabularies and expressions and you can use it next time you want to use your cell phone or you want to just like tell someone uh, for example to switch off their phone or just about the bad connection or things like that I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next lesson.